There are several techniques you can use to select objects in Vectorworks. In this video tech tip, we will cover these techniques along with how to resolve issues when certain objects cannot be selected. First, the most obvious way to select an object is to click on the object using the 2D selection tool. In the Vectorworks preferences, if cursor pre-selection highlighting is checked, you will see highlighting around the object to be selected. This is a clear indication of the exact object to be selected prior to clicking. When selecting multiple objects, you can click on the desired objects while holding the shift key, or you can use the marquee selection modes of the 2D selection tool. The first selection mode is rectangular selection mode. With this mode, just click and drag the rectangular marquee around the objects you want to select. Only objects completely inside the rectangular marquee are selected. Notice only the tiles and plants were selected, the hardscapes were not because only a portion of the hardscapes were inside the marquee. When using these marquee modes, if you hold the Alt key on Windows and the Option key on Mac, objects inside the marquee and objects partially included in the marquee will be selected. The next selection mode is Lasso Selection. This mode allows you to draw a marquee freehand to select objects. This mode works well to highlight objects in crowded drawings. The Polygonal Selection mode works similarly to the Lasso mode, except you will be drawing a polygon to select your desired objects. This mode is also very useful for selecting objects in cluttered drawings. Sometimes when working with a file, a situation may arise where you're unable to select your desired objects. There are three reasons why this may occur. First, if you only want to select objects on one layer, verify that the class options are set to Show, Snap, Modify Others. If selecting objects between multiple layers, be sure both the classes and layer options are set to show snap, modify others. Second, when selecting between layers, make sure that all of the layers are at the same layer scale. Third, when selecting between layers, all layers must be in a top plan view. If all three of these rules are satisfied, you will be able to select any object on any design layer. If you don't want to change any of your layer and class settings because of a specific workflow, you can right click on the desired object to be selected, then choose For Select. This changes the active layer and class automatically to that of the desired object so that you can select it without changing your class and layer parameters. This concludes today's video tech tip. For more tech tips and how-tos, please visit kbase.vectorworks.net. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.